In this video, we're going to explain why you need a drainage plane on top of Tyvek. This home has Tyvek drain rack installed behind faux rock with no drainage plane and metal lathing. Okay? We're going to explain to you why you need synthetic lathing and why you need a drainage plane. As you can see here on this uh, home, these are actually nails, believe it or not, that are just rusted completely through and falling apart. The Tyvek itself is still held up really well. It's stained, but it's not compromised whatsoever. Uh, when I peel this Tyvek back, however, you can see that they used a metal lathing which the metal lathing is pretty well gone. I mean, I can just take this stuff and I can just crumble it, okay? And it's like that on this whole wall. Look at this, how this just crumbles apart. This metal lathing is what's actually holding the mortar and the rock on this wall. So if you know anything about stucco or faux rock, the metal lathing is what's actually attached to the wall and then everything hangs on that metal lathing. So when the lathing rusts, like this does, and it gets to the point where it's just crumbling and, and it's rusted completely through and falling off of the home, then what is holding that stucco and faux rock on the wall anymore? Nothing. So we want to make it clear to you, not only do we need to use a synthetic lathing so that this doesn't happen, but most importantly, we need a drainage plane. That drainage plane is going to allow the water that goes through this brick, rock, stucco, whatever is stuck onto that lathing. When it goes through that, it now has a place to flow down the wall and exit the bottom below the plate line. If you don't have that, which is what happened in this case, you can see the water had nowhere to go. And so it just saturates in this wall and it stays wet all the time and all of your fasteners begin to rust out and then you start to get holes in the Tyvek because the fasteners are gone at that point. They're no longer there. And so then the water starts coming in through these uh, holes. So it's very, very important that we use a drainage plane and we use synthetic lathing so that this does not happen. Uh, we can also see a small example here on this whole corner of mortar damage. This is where the, the faux rock meets the brick, and you can see in this corner, it's just full of mortar, where that mortar has squeezed through and was touching the house rack. So we need a drainage plane on that as well. We've got another video um, that talks about that, so you can watch that and see. But if you have any more questions or need anything in terms of any of this type of information, please visit weatherproofingamerica.com. Thank you.